Hi, welcome to the Undergate Agent. Uh, social media marketing and news for real estate agents. Um, our first topic is Facebook Reels, um, talking about the Facebook Bonus Reels program. Um, it's something right now that is invite only, but they are monetizing creators for uploading Reels and that are getting new views. Um, some, some people are already eligible for it or may have received the invite, but it's a matter of changing your personal account to professional mode or check your business page for notifications. Um, let's see, uh, with any new accounts, it would have to be at least 30 days running with about, I think, a thousand views consecutively for that month. Yeah, so if you don't already have one, I would say go ahead and start creating reels and then, then submitting your name to see if it's eligible or not to, to be in the, the bonus program. And the reels are still a good way to, to reach out to your audience. Um, it is. It's a whole new, yeah. whole new audience with with Facebook and and um, just seeing you in a different light, you know. Yeah, and and it's already you know since it's tied to Facebook, it already has your circle of friends and and uh, you know friends and family. So it's it's kind of you know definitely neat. And they're, they're coming you... a different way. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You go first. Yeah, I was gonna say there are you know different ways to monetize it. You know the bonus program. You know they're gonna have some um, ads you can put on there too to kind of. Yeah, bring in revenue or put your ads out on other people's reels. So, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely, um, I would say, a growing segment. I think they're going to keep adding more and more features, you know, as yeah, these for months sure. go on. It's still very in the very beginning stages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little confusing because there's, there's reels for Instagram and then there's Facebook reels and one kind of goes to the other. And it, you know what I mean? So, but, um, yeah, definitely, you know, start making them, start posting them, whether you're in the program or not, eventually you could be. Um, and even not to that, I mean, you could repurpose your reels, you could put them on different platforms too, um, which is definitely something that should be done, I think. And, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the next thing we want to discuss was uh, that, uh, you know, a home in our area, Tampa Bay, um, sold as an NFT, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, what they did is they they kind of put the 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 deed or the property's ownership in a LLC and then kind of you know minted the LLC and sold that through the blockchain. Um, so kind of you know a little bit around it, but you know then they'll figure out the logistics. But um, you know they're a little newsworthy and a little um, you know kind of see what creative things that people are going to do next with it and see what's possible. Yeah, I mean it's definitely a different language for sure. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Googling NFTs to begin with that, start with that. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I think it ended up selling for like $650,000. Um, and uh, which, yeah, I mean, obviously it was in uh, cryptocurrency, I think Ethereum, but um, equivalent, you know, that much you know, dollars. I think you have to break that down for me on a whole other video, just the <laughs> whole, because it, it really is another language because I don't, I hear it, I know it, I hear, you know what I mean? But I don't quite understand it yeah we'll, it we'll, we'll go into a little more depth about it and and kind of explain it, it's it's it currently doesn't have too much uses in real estate but you know if if, if our audience knows any any uses and let us know you know yeah um, for if, sure you know if a smart contract or any of that mm -hmm. um our next topic is um be able to look out for fake sellers yeah, so especially with the pandemic, there's a lot of online, you know, home, I don't want to say predators, it's probably not the right word, but scam artists <laughs> that are scamming <laughs> that, in all different ways. Word. Yeah, there's, there's no, um, there's no like, they're just getting very creative on how they're reaching out, they're pretending to be owners, they're pretending to be buyers, and it's just a lot of the transactions are happening online. Um, and so it's kind of hard, you know, and it's, there's always a reason why when we're out of the country or there's COVID lockdown, we can't get over, you know, I've got this visa. It's just one story after the next, but it's just really a buyer beware and let your buyers um, and sellers be aware of, of what's going on out there or just be, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely like verify, double check because um, you, you know, there's stories about you know, getting these calls and realtors going, I uh, think they're, you know, helping their client where they're changing locks and then getting in trouble with the real owners. So, 
you know, definitely something, you know, be beware of it, that there's a, you know, scam going on and kind of just double check your, you know, your sources and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Um, so the, the next uh, topic of business is is uh, Zillow is looking to double their premier agent um, after their struggles with the Zillow offers, you know, and discontinuing that service. And they're not really not making too much money with their Zillow mortgage services yet. Um, so they're looking to double down and double the amount of money they bring in through premier agents in mm. in three years. So, so Zillow is coming for realtors and and hope you know if it's working for you great if it's you know not something you know you uh you know participate in you know nozilla is looking to 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 get your business oh my gosh mm -hmm. all different yeah. ways right <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i mean yeah it, it's i mean it's not something we you know participate in it's um you know we we see the value in other sort of lead generation sources uh mm -hmm. but um it's uh i don't i don't know how Zillow's going to double the amount of people will spend on ads but we'll see that's what they're trying to yeah i mean i think it's they're losing more and more credibility i think a little bit too so yeah. you know yeah and and, they, okay. and and the just the longer contracts they have 6 months 12 months contracts it's mm -hmm. it's, it's hard especially mm -hmm. with the times we live in you know we need some flexibility exactly. yeah for sure Okay. What was the next topic? Um, the hidden cost of home buying. Oh yeah, that was in an article in the uh, Florida Realtor magazine. Just simple. It's a little infographic. We'll actually put it up on the website. But basically, um, you know, just extra costs that home buyers may not be thinking about, um, including like the moving costs, um, closing mm -hmm. costs. For one, buyers do have their own closing costs. Sellers have their own closing costs. Um, buyers closing costs ranges between two to, I don't know, was it 5% possibly yeah, of the I purchase guess price? Yeah, three to, you know, two to five, depending on Yeah, I think financing. here it's a two to five. Yeah. So it says the national average is about 6,000. And then, you know, you have to factor in if there's any renovations that need to be done prior to move in or to where it's, mm -hmm. you know, move in ready. Um, there's title insurance, there's home inspections. Yeah. And um, of course, the moving costs, you know, running the truck, boxes, if you have physical movers, you know, whatever it may be. So just little things that you don't think about at the, you know, the time that definitely do add up and that need to be factored into the purchase. Yeah. And I think uh, like when people move in, physically move in, then they really see what's needed with the house. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, that, you know, once they have the, you know, they their stuff in, they're like, oh, maybe this room really needs a different color paint or something. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. all these costs. Can't live with it. <laughs> exactly. Can't live with it. Have to change it up. So it's, it's yeah, definitely costs. Keep, uh, you know, keep your eye out. Have, make sure you have a good safety net, you know, because homeownership is, is different than renting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, okay. Yeah. So the last the last topic is um, real estate agent tops uh, Google's uh, job search. Um, so uh, we're getting more realtors out there, which is great. You know, uh, as long as you know everybody gets you know the, you know knows what they're doing, and getting training correctly. You know, um, the more the merrier. But yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's looking to join you know our profession and. Uh, you know, really, I don't know. Our side got you know saw a big jump in in just memberships you know, during the pandemic, and and um, mm -hmm. you know a lot, a lot of new agents out there. Yeah, so if anyone has any questions, make sure you communicate with them and make sure they they know you know they're they're serving the clients the best way. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's there's there's a lot of agents out there, and we work together. You know, it's not so much competition; it's working together with the same end goals. So. Good luck to everybody, and we yeah. have to run because we've got kids to pick up. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much, for, and and I'm Tony, and I'm Patricia. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye.